The initial thing that we do every day is we take our readiness reading. And what that is, is we use this technology called Omega Wave that looks at, it looks at a few things. It looks at HRV, which is heart rate variability. We're looking at the, uh, an L3 ECG, which with that, we're looking at the actual functioning state of different energy systems. And then we're also looking at the state of your central nervous system. And that's the pad that you see on their hand and their head. So now we know physiologically how they're able to adapt to stress or what stress they're able to adapt to. We wanna make sure that when we're dosing these kids with exercise, that we're taking into account what they can actually adapt to so that we don't fry them out We're kind of a unique anomaly when it comes to all the technology. When you look at the heart rate monitors at practice, so we can look at training load, we can look at caloric expenditure at practice, and we can compare that to what we're giving these kids to make sure that we can maintain weight and we're, we're fueling them right throughout the season. Um, the Omega Wave, the Gym Aware, the questionnaires that we use through Coach Me Plus. Uh, based on their readiness, we can look at these scores and uh, the technology allows us to look and it says whether you're green, you're yellow, or you're red for certain things. So like whether you're really ready for endurance activity, skill work, speed work, or strength work. If you're green, we're going. That means it's time to push it, we can get after it, let's go. So if we're lifting that day, we might add five pounds to everything we did last time. Um, if you are at what we call yellow one, we're going to also look at your questionnaire. We're going to talk to the student athlete. And we're going to say, hey, let's feel it out. Let's take a look at it. And then if we're red, meaning they're really not ready to go, then depending on why they're red, we might just ship them. They might do some low end conditioning work, uh, some recovery work, whatever it may be. And that's the same, you know, if we're conditioning or whatever, we move off of that. We're either going to push it. We're going to feel it out, we're going to repeat what we did last time, or we're going to back them down. We're one of the very few college basketball programs out there that utilize this much technology and sports science, readiness, training loads, questionnaires, developing things in communication of, of that matter. When you monitor these things and you're able to, when you can track the stress that you're putting on a kid and you're able to dose it based on that stress, the, how fast they adapt and how plastic these changes are. Meaning they are stronger. It's not like they're stronger today and then November they're not. Um, and that allows us to worry about things that are really important longer in the season. And our background with education and the, and the people who have taught us these things has really helped. But you know, it's, it's, it's building a bigger foundation for us now to be able to expand more on it. And it's exciting to see that.